uh, we, we, you know, we definitely looked at um, going on a long run and preparing for a long run and instead of just you know, looking day to day. Um, so it's definitely a lesson we can learn and, and uh, build upon. As much as you were trying to stay in the moment throughout the regular season, I mean, how anxious were you to get back to, to playoff time just given the way last season ended? Um, yeah, I mean, we're trying to flip the page on last season. I don't think we're, we're really focused on that throughout the year. Um, you know, every year is, there's only one team that wins regardless of of the expectations that every team has playing the playoff time. We didn't achieve what we wanted to last year, but um, the other, the other you know, teams that were playoffs except for, um, except for one. So, you know, um, this year is about building something different with a different group and, and, and learning from that, building on it. And, um, you know, we had different adversity that we had to come through this year together. And uh, a lot of people wrote us off before the season even began. So, um, you know, we built something uh, great this year and, and came together. Um, and you know, now we have another opportunity to do that again. Is there anything that you learned from Patrice over the years uh, in terms of getting ready for the playoffs? Or you mentioned staying in the moment. Is there anything specifically that you got from 37? Um, you know, one thing that he really focused on later in his career, especially, was gratitude, just being grateful for the opportunity. I think that's one thing that you, you kind of forget is that um, you're not given this opportunity every year, and, and just because you're in the league, you know, and you've been there before, it doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Um, you know, so you want to embrace the moment and uh, really cherish the opportunity and, and make sure you kind of do everything you can to. Uh, make the most of it. So, uh, you know, he was big on that uh, towards the end, and um, that definitely carried through the group. I think definitely something we can we can all continue to um, be better at is, is being grateful for for being here um, and making the most of it. So, uh, it, it, you know, that that gets you excited. That you know, you know it kind of brings you back when you're a kid, and you would do anything to play for a cup. And you know, now we're here and we have that opportunity. Um, Again, saying that one. It seems a lot in the playoffs comes down to you know, tangible details, putting yourselves in a position to have success. Why do you think this group is positioned well in that category this year, perhaps better than the previous years to take advantage of? I think probably the biggest thing is that we've learned that when we try to get fancy or we play East West, just it's not how we play. Like every time we played a top team or you know we've had success with the year against any team it's usually because we're playing within the structure of our team the way that we've identified we want to play um, and it's a simple brand of hockey it's about being responsible and, and taking care of um, you know, really tight defensively um, you know and, and that usually translates into the field of it, so. I just think that we have a good field for players like that that can compete hard and speed um, that are smart on, on both ends of the puck and you know, at the end of the day, when when we do transition, um, you know, we can make plays. So, yeah, it's just about being smart with the system. How important does strong leadership within the room become when it comes to playoff time? How important is that? Yeah, it's big. I mean, it usually sets the tempo um, from the top down. And, um, you know, it's kind of where it starts, and then you know, everybody kind of falls into place, and you know, you find excitement, and different guys end up stepping up. And, um, <laughs> But you definitely you need it in those momentum swings, and, and it comes from anywhere. It can come from a young guy um, making a certain plays, or uh, you know making a big hit or a good block or whatever it is. Um, so you know, it comes in all kinds of different forms. But um, you know, it, it grows throughout the group as the playoffs go on, and, and you start having success. So, um, but yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is with those momentum swings. That's where experience and stuff comes in, and. Kind of Along those lines, how do, how do you feel you've been able to balance your duties as captain while also, you know, your, your individual game and stuff you have to do? I was up and down. Um, you know, I, I thought there was times where I was doing well and times where I could be better. Uh, you know, so I definitely, there's continued improved bond and uh, definitely things to work on over the summer and, and even, you know, down the stretch of playoffs, I think. Some areas I've identified and and uh, that I'd like to be better at um, and and be a little bit better at and just continue to improve there. So uh, it was a great learning experience, great opportunity so far, um, and you know I think a good first year. Um, but it's not over yet. So hopefully there's a you know still room to improve here throughout the season and playoff time. Um, there's there's always room for growth. Even you know watching Bergen see the way that they've. They continue to grow to the day that they were done. Um, 
you know, you're never, you're never at the peak and, um, until it's all over. So I'm, you know, looking forward to keep growing. Did the responsibilities weigh on you down the stretch? Um, I don't know. I think at, at different points of the year they did. Um, but I think at different points they're just overthinking it as well. So uh, it's just, just how it comes. Do you feel you can still be as a captain? Is it? Is your so I didn't, I mean, yeah, sorry. going into the playoffs for the first time as a captain, is your approach different in any way? Or? No, um, not really. I think kind of looking back on, on you know, the many years that we've, we've got in the playoffs, just tried to, um, I think the biggest thing, I think that the times where we felt most comfortable is just, again, I said it a lot here today, but just being in the moment, taking it day by day. and. Um, it's, it's about having that excitement, um, you know, kind of starts again from, from top down and, um, you know, just both leading by example in that area. So, um, yeah, it's a good first day you go in the playoffs and look forward to the more. Do you feel you can still be yourself as a captain? Have you learned that you can do that? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think I was trying not to be uh, to start and then, you know, as it kind of went on, I felt like I trying to be too much like Bergy and Z and, and uh, you know, those are, yeah, it's just, I'm not going to fill those shoes, right? I'm, I'm not them. Um, so I had to get back to being myself a little bit more and then I felt much more comfortable and in the role and felt better. Um, you know, but so, yeah, so it, it, again, it was a good learning experience to figure that out and um, uh, good stepping stone again going into next year as well. Brad, you, gr you grew up in the Maritimes. So much of the hockey message and media thing in Canada is around the Leafs. Yeah. You've been through these series before, but d does it frame it differently for you to go against the Leafs, given where you're from, watching it as a kid? Yeah, I mean, the Leafs are probably the most popular uh, franchise in the NHL. Um, have probably the most one of the well, probably the largest fan base and, and you know you see the excitement they have all throughout Canada when they're in the playoffs and it makes it a lot of fun to play them um, you know and, and I think just with the history we've had with them recently they're probably our biggest rival right now uh, over the last decade um, you know and it's, they probably surpass Montreal and any other team with kind of where our rivalry has gone just because we've both been so competitive with each other and we've had a few playoff series so it definitely brings the emotion, um, the intensity up in, in the games and the excitement uh, for the fans. And, uh, it's a lot of fun to play. I mean, you know, they're always extremely competitive. You never know which way the series is going to go. But that's what you want, and that's what you love about hockey is, is the competition aspect. Um, you know, and, and they're real competitors over there, and especially the way they're built right now. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, and, and that's what playoffs is about. It's about the best teams going head to head and and uh, you know that's why it's the hardest trophy to win you have to go through four extremely tough teams to win it and they're gonna you know they're gonna be a hell of a challenge did you get it tired did you get tired of it as a kid leafs leafs no leafs. i was they were my favorite team growing up um so i, I didn't get tired of it uh, it was fun to watch them um you know and even today when you go around the building they have a lot of their alumni walking around guys that I admired growing up, um, you know, so seeing them in the arena is special as well. I mean, I'm still a huge fan of the game, and uh, when you get to see the guys that uh, you grew up watching, it's always a lot of fun. Knowing just the rivalry, does that make it easier to just throw away the regular season and not rest on your nails, so to speak? I, I mean, just in general, like, the amount of times you've been in playoffs, you, you learn that, like, you just can't sit on the regular season. It just doesn't mean anything, and, uh, you know, and... and you see that with teams over and over in playoff time where the regular season doesn't mean anything in the matchup. So it's always easy to, to throw it out. You're just always focused on that next game. And um, so, yeah, it's exciting. Thanks, you guys.